okay guys good day everyone this is crypto manuel and on today's video i will be showing you guys how to purchase tatcoin acquire tatcoin on the bidex exchange platform that's how to use your bitcoin to purchase tatcoin on ethereum you understand i believe this is one of the easiest way to purchase tatcoin on this platform considering the fact that um purchasing with your or your card or your directly from your bank account it's not um the option is not available currently on this platform so um to purchase start coin um on bdx as you can see bdx list start coin so um as you can see so to purchase start coin on bdx on bdx all you have to do is first of all in my last video i showed you guys how to in my last two videos actually i showed you guys how to create a bdx account in the next one i create i showed you guys how to um deposit on uh, the bdx exchange platform so now let's assume you've deposited like i said the last time i showed you guys the video the account was empty so i had to just quickly you know um deposit um 37 dollars so i can show you guys how to you know purchase that coin on bdx using bitcoin i hope you understand so i funded the bitcoin so as you can see now you simply come to this part right here you see where it says um home market trade and balance so you can just straight up come right here you trade and it takes you to the trade page as you can see i already have that slash btc here because i already searched for it but normally when you just log in you might see something like um bdk uh, slash usdt i hope you understand so you can click just quickly click on this part right here where it says that slash btc you click on it and then you come right here under btc under btc and then you search for the coin you want to trade on tat that start coin and then you click on it so it will take you to the trading page i hope you understand and trust me bidex ask the bidex they have really nice um trading tools so as you can see we are under the buy column right here it says buy here and it says sell so now we want to acquire that coin with bitcoin so we'll simply be making a purchase we'll buy you understand so i funded my binance account as you can see it says limit this is the current market price of that coin right here the current market price is where you check to see the current market price of any coin up here this is current market price of that coin right here so as you can see it says start as you can see right here it says um the amount available in btc that's your capital that's and then in usd that at seven point on at seven dollars and 19 cents so i see this button right here this icon right here it says buy tat so now to actually buy that i'll be buying that coin with the entirety of my capital you understand i want to use everything that's the entire 37 dollars worth of bitcoin to buy that coin to acquire that coin and keep it i hope you understand so now there's this particular tool this tool on bdx those of you familiar with binance um you will see something like this on binance where it says that's the equivalent part the 25 percent the 50 percent 75 percent and 100 percent but on this particular tool on bdx it's really really like even better in my own opinion in the sense that you can just use these buttons right here to adjust and then you know instruct the app on which uh what sort of a particular percentage or the amount of your capital you want to use in acquiring the particular coin i hope you understand so in this case now you can see i'm going to click on this right here as you can see i'm using that to adjust the amount i can easily just adjust it to okay ten dollars exactly ten dollars cute isn't it <laughs> it's super cool so i can then decide to adjust like let's say fifteen dollars and then decide to adjust like up to 25 or just zoom in everything to the end and then to instruct the app that okay i want to use everything you know, on my account to to purchase this particular coin so now i've zoomed everything to the end meaning i want to use the entirety of my capital that's thirty seven dollars to purchase this particular coin so now thirty seven dollars worth of bitcoin would give me 289 tat coins i hope you understand 37 dollars i'll come again 37 dollars worth of bitcoin as at the moment i'm making this video as at that moment would give me 289 tat coin i hope you understand now so having done that all I, all I just have to do now is to just click on buy you understand this is the amount i want to buy this is the i want to buy at the current market price which is um as you can see one 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 four and then 289 third coin and then i've boxed in the amount i want to use in buying it all i have to do is just click on buy so once i click on buy as you can see 
the order has been created the order has been created so you understand this is your open order right here and this is your order history other history as some of you already know is the history of order orders that you've placed that has been executed either buy or sell order i hope you understand either buy or sell order as you can see it's still under your open order right here and as you can see the order history is currently empty so now you go back come back to balance as you can see that trade is still pending the trade is still pending come back to trade all orders so once this buy order has been successfully executed no it will disappear from your open order and appear under your order history so your funds in btc will now be converted to that coin funds you understand meaning you would have used your 37 dollars i'm using 37 dollars in this case you would have used whatever amount of btc you have to purchase that coin you have converted it to the direct equivalent in that coin and as you can see here it says amount price and field the amount is 289 that coin the price in btc you can see 1114 and you can see field as long as this field is still on zero and it has not uh this field has not been uh that sorry it has not risen to 100 percent yet the order is still pending those of you that are familiar with how these things work on binance you should already know this stuff so once this field right here this zero tax rises to 100 percent that means the buy order you just executed has been successful you understand that means the buy order has been successfully executed then it will not disappear from your open order and appear under your order history as you can see the order history is still currently empty so you then wait some minutes for the buy order to be successfully executed and if it's taking too long you can easily cancel it you understand you cancel you go back try to place the buy order again so the buy order can be executed fast I, right now i can see the delay the reason why there's a delay in the execution of the buy order is because the current market price of that coin just increased from that 1114 to 1116 as you can see here so i have to go back here as you can see i'll cancel the buy order and then i initiate the buy order again i'm only taking this long to explain this whole thing usually this process doesn't take me up to one or two seconds one let's just say five seconds to initiate the buy order i hope you understand now the current market price of that coin has increased to 1116 just now so i have to come right here this you can see this plus and minus sign so i have to just use the plus sign to increase it to 1116 meaning i'm telling the app that this is the current market price i want to buy at that current market price that's the current market price the coin is at i hope you understand and i'm using the entirety of my capital to buy this coin so i'll just zoom it to the end that's using the entirety of my 37 dollars to purchase that third coin and then i initiate the buy order by clicking on this straight up i hope you understand so let's just hope this one executes faster because i bought at the current market price all others it's pending you can see i'm trying to refresh it and um trying to refresh so once the buy order has been successfully executed it will disappear from your open order and appear under your order history once again like i said your order history is the history of orders either buy or sell order that has been successfully executed as long as it's still under your open order that order is still pending I hope you understand now so i guess that explains it so um this is crypto manual over and out